It's reading vlog time. We're doing the Authenticity Project, which is by Claire Pooley. Um, this book was given to me by my best friend Meg's mother, who um, is named Kimberly. Um, I love ya. You're my second mother. Thank you so much. I can't wait to read the book that you gave me. Let's jump in. Okay, so, um, judging by the, the foreword about, like, not talking to your neighbors and shit, I feel like this book is gonna be about loneliness. The scene where Monica finds the note in the book, I love it. Oh my god, he went to the dentist because he wanted to have spent time with somebody. Oh, honestly me. Excuse me? This bitch was a high-earning corporate lawyer, and she gave it up to run a cafe? Good for you. <laughs> okay, so basically, Julian wrote in the journal and was like, Yo, nobody talks to each other. Everybody's lonely. Let's be real. Um... And then Monica and Hazard have found it and written in said journal. Hazard found what Monica wrote at the cafe. Um, the book was outside the cafe that she um, wrote it in. I really love Julian. I really like Monica, except I... I don't know. I support her staying a lawyer. I kind of don't... I just don't like that she's valuing herself solely by whether or not she is a child. Um... I am not the biggest fan of Hazard, and I also am not enjoying the way his character is written. Like, so far, it's very... He's just very cookie-cutter, stereotypical, straight, bad boy douche, and it's not interesting to me. Okay, so Hazard, having found Monica's, like, entry in the, diary, in the diary, has decided to be sober. And not, like, he's living a sober life, which is good. But he also wants to try and find Monica a man to have babies with. So Monica can have her lifelong dream of having chitlins. But tell me why, as I'm reading him go through all these men, I just ship him with them. I don't give a fuck. I don't think any of these guys are good for Monica. I think that Hazard needs to realize that he's gay. Although he's definitely not. He's definitely a straight, like, frat boy douchey guy. But same. Still. I don't know. So this is definitely a pre-owned, um, a pre-owned book. Um, <laughs> and whoever had this before me underlined the weirdest sentences for annotation. For instance, there's all this stuff that's, like, very beautiful. But the only thing they underlined on this page, which they circled the page number of, is she was a firebrand, so vivid and alive. And? <laughs> what? Okay, so now Riley found the book? Riley was this dude who just met Monica, and they, like, had, like, a cute little meet-cute, but who knows? Why does he have the book? I don't I don't really care that he has the book. I don't know. Okay, so Hazard wrote in the book and he gave Riley the book to try and set Riley and Monica up. Oh. Okay. Aw, Julian and Riley and Monica are gonna have a Christmas lunch together. Okay, the fact that this book is a Christmas book makes so much fucking sense like at the beginning i was like the dialogue is a little bit cheesy and like the storyline is a really cute idea but it's also a bit cheesy and like i don't know about these characters they're all kind of cookie cutter but it takes place at christmas and like if you read it as if you're watching like a hallmark christmas movie or like a netflix christmas movie but a good one it's fucking brilliant. Like, oh my god, this was meant to be a Christmas movie. It's so fucking cute. I'm so excited. Also, I love the character of Alice. But yeah, this is like, I'm about halfway through. Um, and Julian, or, um, Julian is 
and Riley and Monica are doing Christmas, and Monica and Riley are, like, being cute and falling in love, and it's cute as shit. Um, yeah, it's a total Christmas movie. Like, this is so cute. So, I'm very here for this. And Julian just outed somebody. Mm. I don't like Julian. And, of course, Hazard fucking shows up and ruins Christmas. Although... I don't think that Monica should have been that shocked. Like, it, 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 the authenticity project is what brought them together. Why is she angry that, I don't get why she's angry that, um, that her dude found her through a book instead of organically. Like, I don't, I don't know. But it is still fucking gross the way that Hazard was. Like, that's weird. I don't know. The whole situation's weird. <laughs> to be honest, I think the only character I like is Alice. But I do like her a lot. Okay. This book is taking far too fucking long to finish. I am... I, Life is getting crazy. I have not been successful at doing one book a week this month. But you know what? It's whatever. And we're gonna finish it tonight. We're gonna finish it tonight. Who the fuck is Dave? Why are we adding more characters to this? I, I only care about Alice. I don't care about the rest of these people. Uh, they're in Paris. Ooh. Oh, shit. Julian's been lying. I'm not going to tell you what about, but he's been lying. So the The authenticity project is built on lies. Why is this book getting suddenly really good at 302? Literally at page 302. You know what? As much as I have hated Monica through this whole book, I really like her story arc. No spoilers, she's finally just sat the fuck back and went, wait, hold the fuck on. I'm a business owner, I'm a lawyer. I've got a shit ton of money. I don't need a man or a child to complete me, especially when I don't really want them. Like, thank God. <laughs> Thank God. You're awesome. You're incredible. You don't need those things. Like, why are you beating yourself up for having things you don't even want? I j I'm, I'm okay. It took a long time to get here, but I'm actually liking the way that this book is wrapping up. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm just going to say this. The ending to Hazard and Monica's story arcs, I saw coming from the very fucking beginning. Is it cute? Yes, I, I think it's very cute. Is it Hallmarky? Very much. But listen, I love Hallmark Christmas movies, even the shitty ones. I love them. They're so good. <laughs> I love it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> My goodness, Baz and Benji's ending is so cute. Uh, also, I like Alice's ending a lot. I really like Alice's ending to the story. I really like that. I won't tell you what it is, because spoilers, but it's good. You know what? I just finished it. That was really cute. Honest, like, really good. Like, I did not expect that from the beginning of this book, but I really liked this. That's a lie. I loved it at the beginning. The middle was hard, but I really loved the ending. So, like, this is a solid four and a half stars for sure. Definitely, it was going to be a three for a while, but definitely four and a half. We're up to four and a half because that ending was really good. Um, But thank you for sending me the book. It made me really happy, Kim. Thank you. Um, Yeah, that was fun. Um, If you want a really cute, like, feel good book that actually has like a really good message underneath and ends up like having a very good ending, like a really good fucking ending, pick it up. It don't. It doesn't disappoint. And stick through it. The middle's hard, but stick through it because the ending does not disappoint. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks for sticking around and helping out. Um, and until next time, this has been the Bye Book Boy, and I am saying bye. <laughs>